In the year 1898, Robert Beaumont, the primary financier of a railway project in Cebo, Kenya, enlists the expertise of Lieutenant Colonel John Henry Patterson, a British Anglo-Irish military engineer, to ensure the project's timely completion. Patterson travels from England to Cebo, leaving his pregnant wife behind, whom he has made a promise to, that he will finish the bridge and return to England before the birth of their child. He meets the British supervisor Angus Starling, the Kenyan foreman Samuel, and Dr. David Hawthorne shortly after his arrival. Hawthorne notifies Patterson about a recent lion assault that has negatively impacted the endeavor and shows him the man who had been attacked by the lion. Patterson assures the doctor that he will sort it out. On the same evening, Patterson kills an approaching lion using only one shot from his .303 Enfield rifle, gaining the respect of the workers and allowing them to resume their work safely. Nevertheless, only a few weeks later, the construction foreman Mahina is dragged from his tent by another lion. Before daybreak, his mutilated body is recovered, and Patterson attempts another nighttime hunt to capture the lion who devoured Mahina. But, Starling informs Patterson that another corpse of a second worker has been discovered at the opposite end of the camp from where he was positioned. Patterson, heeding Samuel's advice, employs the laborers to construct thorn fences around the tents to keep lions from entering. Some days later, a lion attacks the camp during broad daylight, killing another worker. As Patterson, Starling, and Samuel corner the lion while it is feeding on the corpse, another lion leaps from a building's roof and injures Starling in the throat and Patterson in the left arm. Patterson recovers and attempts to shoot both lions, but they manage to escape. Samuel, from what he just saw, asserts that man-eating creatures have never existed in pairs, they have always been single hunters. The workers, who are led by a man named Abdullah, start to turn on Patterson, which stops work on the bridge. Patterson asks England for soldiers to protect them, but he is turned down. During Beaumont's short visit to the site, he tells Patterson that he will ruin his reputation if his commission isn't done on time. He also says that, because Patterson has failed in the past, he will enlist the hunting skills of a famous hunter named Charles Remington to help him get rid of the threat. Shortly thereafter, Remington arrives in Sabo with a group of trained Maasai warriors, who nicknamed the lions the Ghost and the Darkness due to their infamous behavior. Remington's initial attempt to capture one lion in a thicket fails due to the malfunction of Patterson's borrowed firearm. The warriors opt to flee in fear of the beast, but Remington chooses to remain. He establishes a new tent hospital for injured and ill workers and lures lions to the abandoned building with animal parts and blood. The man-eaters appear to fall for the trap, but when Remington and Patterson open fire on them, they flee to the new hospital and slaughter numerous patients and Hawthorne. The next day, the whole workforce evacuates the camp, leaving Patterson, Remington, and Samuel to face the lions. Patterson and Remington set off towards the mountains and eventually succeed in locating the lion's den, which is filled with human and animal carcasses. They reach the horrifying conclusion that the lions are killing humans for fun and keeping the skeletons as trophies. Upon returning to camp that evening, Patterson places a hunting stand in a clearing and uses a baboon as bait to lure one of the predators to his position. After Patterson falls from the stand, the plot fails, but Remington manages to kill the lion before it can attack Patterson. He, Patterson, and Samuel spend the remainder of the night drinking and celebrating, but the following morning, Patterson and Samuel discover that Remington has apparently been dragged from his tent and killed by the remaining lion during the night. Patterson, devastated by Remington's death and desperately wanting to end the bloodshed, decides to burn the tall grass surrounding the camp in an attempt to lure the lion into the camp, where he intends to ambush it. The beast soon attacks Patterson and Samuel on the partially constructed bridge. Patterson wounds the lion by shooting it with a howdah pistol. However, the lion swiftly retaliates by knocking Patterson's weapons away and chasing him off the bridge. Patterson and Samuel are able to climb into two separate trees, but when Patterson looks down, he is shocked to see the lion climbing the tree after him. Samuel attempts to toss Patterson his own firearm, but it falls to the ground. Patterson leaps from the tree and retrieves the firearm just in time to shoot the lion as it descends to kill him. Abdullah and the workers come back and finish the bridge on time. Patterson greets his wife and meets his son for the first time at the Tsebo station. 
In the last few minutes of the movie, Samuel explains that the lions are now on display at the Field Museum in Chicago, Illinois, and that even today, if you dare look into their eyes, you will be terrified. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos.